And over the years, California has proven to be a leader on immigration issues by implementing common sense solutions that both maintain public safety and integrate immigrants into our communities. AB 1351 is consistent with the support California has shown towards the immigrant community. Prior to 1997, California had a pre-trial diversion process as opposed to the current process of deferred entry of judgment, or DEJ. However, with the efforts of then Attorney General Dan Lundgren, uh, California switched to the DEJ process versus the pretrial diversion process. At that time, the public state, this, this body, the Public Safety Committee analysis, made clear that there was no evidence that diversion programs were not working and asked if it was necessary to eliminate them. The DEJ requires a defendant to first plead guilty, waive their right to a speedy trial, and then complete a drug treatment program. After the defendant completes that drug treatment program, their case is dismissed and the state no longer recognizes the incident. However, since California switched the DEJ process, the consequences have been tragic for those who have successfully completed this program because although the state no longer recognizes the incident, the defendant's guilty plea remains and under federal immigration law, an immigrant can and has been deported for simply pleading, pleading guilty to a mi minor nonviolent misdemeanor and, and receiving treatment for that. According to the records, over 250,000 people have been deported from the U.S. for nonviolent drug offenses. For legal permanent residents, the remaining guilty plea precludes them from becoming U.S. citizens. U.S. citizens are also negatively impacted by the DEJ because they lose out on federal housing and or educational benefits that stand in their way with the guilty plea on their trial. So under AB 1351, pretrial diversion will only be an option to a person who has been accused of a minor nonviolent drug offense. They will first provide the, the defendant the opportunity to complete a drug treatment program before without immediately having to enter a guilty plea. For any person who fails to adhere to the conditions of a pretrial diversion program, the court could reinstate the charges and schedule proceedings pursuant to existing law. In addition, the following persons will not be allowed to participate in pretrial diversion, a person with any serious or not a violent felony, or a person previously convicted for any of the following possessions or sale and anything involving a minor for the sale of dr drugs.